Britain's days out, 20 years. I was at Ruapuna this weekend, um, 20 years since uh, John Britton passed away. Famous Cantabrian Christchurch bloke who designed and created the Britton motorcycle. Kind of went along with my son. And they had a bit of a showcase. This is the first time that all of these bikes have been together, I guess. Um, some from overseas collections. So you can see here the evolution of the Britton motorcycle. Uh, the V1000 and V1100 and a few of its predecessors that John Britton created. This is one of his early bikes. Um, can't remember which one this is, um, but it sort of he created this in the, the mid-80s and sort of the predecessor of the, the V1000. Um, I think he used parts from other bikes, but as time went on, he um, basically developed the whole bike um, and engineered it himself. This is just a bit, a bit of history, um, a bike that I think his son owned, and a bit of a tribute. So here looking, um, these are his early bikes again. Um, not so cool looking, but as you can see, along the late 80s, early 90s, he started creating it from scratch. The engine, exhaust, everything, everything he designed, um, and all from his head. Um, being dyslexic, I, I guess he was really good at spatial awareness and seeing concepts, you know, without the aid of a computer. So really quite, truly remarkable. And um, it's a shame he passed on because I'm sure there were plenty more bikes he was um, going to create. So this one here, I think, was in the Isle of Man. And this was the last one, or the later ones, um, which is still running now. And here's just some parts showing some bits and all the pieces he designed um, and then on to the next table um, we will see a um, so sort of the casts that he created and there's an excellent video on YouTube you can see a documentary and these are just some more parts he sort of pioneered carbon fiber um, and casting as well the casts that he made so these are a few here, just some moulds and dies. I think the bottom one's for the fiberglass or carbon fibre and some piston heads and all sorts. He didn't only um, do um, motorcycles, he was also a bit of a designer and artist and did a bit of stained glass windows and, and um, some lights there you can see in the cupboard. And um, He was also very fascinated with Indian motorcycles and I guess Bert Munro was the hero of him, another Kiwi. Um, this is just a table of some of his artworks and some stuff. And his family were here with signing autographs. Here's a fake. Or a replica. And here's just some um, of the races during the day. So I'll let you see some of these races. And then towards the end, there's um, uh, about five, four or five Britons racing on the track. Obviously not at full power because they don't want to break any um, engines or anything. So I'll let you just enjoy this. Nice scrape there on the leading out. I think there's about 60 bikes in this race. And here's the Britons. Or one of them. I'm not too sure what the other bike following it is. Here's one of the later Britain V1000s. One of the main stages They pulled a couple of wheelies, I think this one here. Um, the pink and uh, blue. Britain pulled a bit of a wheelie as it pulled down the straight. And I got it in slow mo too. Crazy to think some of these motorbikes are about a million dollars. Rare as hen's teeth, never to be produced again. And uh, one of a kind. Truly spectacular. Thank you. 
Yet another lap. And another wheelie. <laughs> Brave man. And that one I think raced in the Isle of Man. As I said before, might be wrong, but I think there were two out on the track. And they had a lot of camera crew there, obviously filming a sort of a rare occasion of the Britons all on the track, so I guess that's going to be either made into a documentary or put on YouTube. Such an amazing bike. It's crazy to think that bike was designed in the early 90s, yet still looks so modern. That's probably the best sounding clip. Yes, herbs. And here he is coming into the pit and pulls a bit of a wheelie when he goes down the pit straight as well. Anyway, thanks for joining. If you want to see more videos, feel free to comment and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Just a bit of a clip of all the bikes. Some sort of biggest, biggest turnout I've ever seen at Rupuna. Anyway, cheers.